Hiya folks and welcome back to Dad's Farm. I have £144,758 in the bank. I am still half a million pounds in debt and I have a huge amount of stuff to get done today. So I'm just going to kind of time lapse through everything and I'll vaguely talk you through what I'm doing. So first of all, big soybean harvest here. I'm setting the helper away to do most of that work on the soybean harvest while I get on with a few of the jobs. Need to tidy up the chicken coop and uh, just sort out, I think it's a wheat that they've got at the front there at the minute. I do want to switch to barley at some point, but at the minute I'm using wheat. Barley seems to be a little bit more profitable. And on to cutting grass now. I am using a very unusual combination of mowers here. It's a bit of an experiment. It didn't really work out. I was just wondering if it would kind of work at all. And it does kind of work, but you do end up with that awkward strip down the middle that doesn't get mowed. But if you're ever wondering if you can use one of these mowers on the front and back of a tractor, um, yes, you can. And uh, it works pretty well, but it doesn't work very well with helpers. That's all I can say. And it looks utterly ridiculous, but it cuts the grass. You know, it does work. As I say, it was a bit of an experiment. I'm not planning on keeping this. I just want to see if it do the job. Back to my soybean harvest and I'm dumping the soybeans directly into the silo at the minute. I'm not putting them in the trailer at all. It saves me having to have a tractor up that neck of the woods and having to move the trailer around. All I'm doing is I'm trying to catch the helper every time he's at the bottom of the field and I'm just dumping stuff straight in the silo and that works pretty well to be honest. In the meantime though, I need to get the grass cut on my big grass field. I am setting the helper away, but uh, it doesn't work very well and uh, it's probably not the most efficient way of doing things. But it does kind of vaguely work and it means I can get on with a little bit of windrowing while that's happening. off to the soybeans and another dump of soybeans into the silo and we're getting to that awkward little portion of the field the little triangular bit on the left hand side the helper always struggles with that so I'm probably gonna have to help him out a little bit but uh, you can see the helpers doing all right on the grass cutting what I should probably do is set the helper away windrowing and I should do the grass cutting but We'll see how it gets on at the minute.
now it's time for a mammoth baling session and uh, we're getting a really high yield on the bales here i'm going to talk about that a little bit more next time but basically i'm using the two cut method whereby you cut the field twice but you only windrow it and bale it once and that's a really efficient way of getting a really high yield on your baling i will talk about that a little bit more in a future episode though as you can see i still haven't resolved the problem of bales rolling everywhere um, i will sort that out at a later date i'm trying not to use too many mods i'm aware that i could use mods to fix that but at the minute because i'm trying to minimize how many mods i'm using in this particular series i'm gonna live with it but <laughs> we'll see how long i can live with it for because it is a bit of a nightmare Right, I've fast forwarded time a bit. I've been waiting on the price of silage bales to go up and they're at a fairly decent price now. So it's time to sell some silage and make some money for once. And while I'm at it, I might as well sell some eggs as well. These are a pain to load up, but uh, again, I know you can get mods for the eggs, but at the moment I'm not using any mods for that. One thing I've learned when selling eggs is that if you accidentally turn the egg box upside down, it doesn't want to sell. So you can be there for ages and it just doesn't want to sell. And if you ever have that problem, try turning the egg box the other way around and sometimes that then works. Now we're back to the following morning. Soybeans are at a decent price. Let's get this harvest sold. Heading off to the restaurant today. decided to invest in a new trailer I've just gone for the Joskin I was sick of having a trailer that's not big enough and I've got quite a lot of soybeans to sell here you can see this is 31,000 litres that can fit in this new trailer so uh, a, a worthwhile investment there I've had that old little trailer for ages right since the start of the game I think I was due an upgrade the Joskin trailer of course has four-wheel steering on it which is very handy so uh, it makes it a bit more maneuverable especially if you've got big crops like this to sell There we 
would go. The bank balance is looking a bit more healthy now. £362,406 in the bank so far. And we've still got a tiny little bit of soybeans left to sell as well. We'll get those sold and then that's pretty much us done for today, I think. There we go. 372000 in the bank. That's looking a bit better. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I shall see you next time. Teddy, bye.